In this video I'm going to discuss the side panel grommets on your BSA Gold Star. This is not a production issue because BSA have confirmed it is absolutely not and was designed this way. Fine. So this is the side panel for the near side which is the one that goes over your oil tank. So this is mine. It's looking pretty good and all of the grommets are in exceptional condition. I'll show you why. That's because every pin has a circlip and a rubber grommet behind it. One, two, and one there. So you can expect a really nice fit from your side panel. And when it comes to the offside, side panel and that's offside in the United Kingdom. Um, lower one has a circlip and a rubber circlip rubber. This one does not. And for me this one's always been the problem child. This is where the panel has that that give to it and I've never in my motorcycling I've never had like two that do and one that doesn't. So so here's the bottom grommet, absolutely good. Top grommet, really, really good. And, ooh, hello. Not a happy grommet. So, it's the one that fits on this side. To me, it does need something to help it along. So this is more of a DIY video, uh, my interpretation of it, because look, there's the ability to put a circlip on there and a rubber if I wanted to. I think I might. Rather than just replace the rubber grommet in the side panel, if you take into account how little miles this bike's done and the fact that that one's completely destroyed and that's the only one that is affected, I'm going to put two and two together. So I'm going to take this. Given that this pin is extended, using the rubber bung mount on its own, can you see there? Even if I put the circlip on it, there's still a bit of space. So even if the circlip was on there, I've got a gap behind it. So I just need to fill that gap with something. So what I did is I picked up a cheap pack of rubber washers. So I'll pop it on. This is a 14 by 5 by 24.5 by 2. I'll leave uh, like details in the description. So there we go. If I put a metal washer on there, we're just going to be chipping away at our frame, aren't we? And then this is the BSA one. Hey, we're looking good. We are looking good. Methods for getting these circlips on is, one, if you've got asbestos fingers and you're very, very powerful, <laughs> you might be able to push it on and what will happen is these two teeth will open up and it will clip into place. A lot of people reach for a screwdriver with a large flat head at this point. But you can imagine if you make a mistake with this, you're going to start taking paint off your bike. Not entirely sure many people want to do that. So what I use is a plastic pry tool. I said that's looking very nice. Happy days. So what we need to do is get this grommet in here and it's going to put up a little bit of a fight. So a top tip is you can go and get some hand soap or some dish soap and apply some of that to the actual rubber itself. And that's going to act as a lubricant. If you've got lots of red rubber grease you could use that too. And with the hand soap in place, I was able to insert that grommet in seconds. So easy, it just slid in. Quick wipe off, and the mess is gone. So we've gone from destroyed to new. Actually, been waiting a long time for these parts. I'm really looking forward to fitting this panel back on my bike. Looking forward to this for so long. I always usually start with the lower pins. 
and then it makes it so much easier to locate the upper pins. Oh, that felt good. Oh, that felt good. Look at that. <laughs> yes! Woo! Happy days. Happy days. It feels so good. Why shouldn't it have been there in the first place? I think that is a lovely, lovely thing to do for my motorcycle. Same with my near side panel. I like to locate the lower pin first, pop it in, and then it makes popping the higher pins a little easier. I like to keep and reuse those self-sealing bags. Everything else, goodbye in the bin. Thanks for watching this video. I think it's just a neat addition to my BSA and uh, keeps my panel on in a way that I'm satisfied with. You can already see the difference, but I'm going from a, a damaged rubber grommet to uh, a new rubber grommet. But then how long will the new one last? Now it's going to last a lot longer. Oh, what? <laughs> That's the end of the video. Hero says it's cup of tea time.